Congratulations on choosing to build your website with Web Starts. In this short video, I will show you some of the basic things you need to know to get started creating your very first custom website. Now that you're logged in, you're on the Manage Sites view. From the Manage Sites view, you can click to either add a new website or select an existing website to begin to make edits and changes to it. Notice there's a few things that will always be on the top of your page as long as you're logged into your Web Starts account. One is this drop down menu that will take you back to the dashboard for a specific site, your account settings, billing, the ability to manage the domain names for your site, connect with our designer platform, help, and log out. You'll also see a small notifications icon that will notify you when there's important changes and updates to your account. Lastly, you can always click on the green orb to return to the Manage Sites view. Let's get started editing the site by clicking on Select Website. This is called the dashboard view. The dashboard view is where you can find everything specific to a website. For example, the link to my website, a button that will launch the editor where I can make changes to that website, a button where I can add a domain name, and I can even choose to upgrade my plan. Notice that there are also several apps that I can connect with a specific website, including store, blog, analytics, and a lot more. We'll get into that a little bit later. But for now, let's click on Edit Site and let's load what we call the Page Editor. One of the nice things about Web Starts is everything is drag and drop and entirely customizable. That means you can select any element on your page and drag and drop it wherever you would like it to appear. If you'd like to change the contents of an element, all you need to do is double click on it. For example, you can replace this text with your own. Just like with text, you can double click on images and then you can choose to either upload images from your local computer, find one using our image search feature, or find one from your Facebook account by connecting it. For this demo, I'm just going to link up a photo from our image library. I double click on it and you can see that it's swapped out. Now that I've made a couple of changes to my site, I'm sure to click save to save and publish those changes live to the web. You can view the changes that you saved at any time by clicking on View Site. That's what my website looks like on the public web. You can add all kinds of elements and other features to your page by clicking on the Add icon on the left toolbar. One of my favorite things to do is to add content blocks. Content blocks are easy ways to add like mini layouts to your page. It saves you time because you don't need to think of where to place every little element on your page. You can just drop in these pre-designed layouts and then customize them as you see fit. When you're ready to save your changes, just click Save and they're published live to the web. You can see what that looks like at any time by clicking View Site. Your Web Starts page is divided into three main sections. The first section is the top and it's called the header. The next section is the body, and this is where most of your content lives. And then down here at the bottom, you'll find another section that we call the footer. Notice that both the footer and the header, when selected, have this green outline. Anything that you place in the header or footer will appear in the exact same place on every single page of your website. We do this so that your users will have a great experience when navigating from page to page. So notice, for example, that my menu is located in my header. So when I view my website and I click on a page in the menu, it's in the same spot no matter which page I'm on. What a great experience. You can manage the page names that appear in the menu by clicking on the pages icon. Here you can change those page names by clicking on the settings cog and then renaming the pages. You can also do things like arrange the order in which they appear, and you can even create sub pages by dragging your pages under other pages. Now I've got a little drop down menu, for example. I don't want that, so I'm just going to drag it back. You can also add pages by clicking on the Add option and choosing to add either a page or a link to another site. And that's how you manage your menu. Another nice feature of Web Starts is smart grouping. Smart grouping allows you to attach multiple elements to a single strip. So for example, if I would like to add a little bit of text to my page, just like this, I can drag it and notice that it's attached to my strip. Once it's attached to this photo strip, 
I can then drag the photo strip and all the text attached to it all at the same time. I can still always go back and drag that text independently wherever I would like it to appear. This helps you save time by allowing you to group elements together and move them all at once rather than place them individually. We also provide something called Smart Handles. Smart Handles will allow you to push all of the elements down the page that are below it. And just like they allow you to push them down, you can pull them up. Along with Smart Grouping, we provide what we call Smart Handles. The Smart Drag Handle you can find attached to the top of an element and when selected and dragging down the page, it pushes all the contents below it down the page. Just like you can push content down the page, you can also pull it up the page all at the same time by using the smart drag and dragging up. This avoids you having to reposition all of the elements on the page in order to create or remove space from your site. Similarly, you can use the smart resize option to create space or increase the size of an element without repositioning the other elements on the page. All of the elements on your Web Starts page are stacked in layers. That means you can place elements on top of one another. You can manage where an element appears in the stack of layers by selecting the element and then choosing to either send that element to the back, send it backward a single layer, bring it forward a single layer, or send it all the way to the front. To change the page that you're editing, choose it from the drop down in the top left hand corner. Notice that I toggled from my home page to my about page and I can now begin to edit it. If you'd ever like to add a new page, you can do that by clicking the new page icon and then choose to either create the page from a blank page or make a copy of an existing page. Making a copy of an existing page is a great way to save time if you already like the layout of a specific page. Give the page a name and click create page and that page is created. Notice that I'm now on that page and I can begin to edit it. It's also automatically added to my menu. Now that you've customized your website, you're going to want to add a domain name to it. To do this, click add domain and then choose whether to register a new domain name for your site or connect one that you've previously registered elsewhere. If you choose the option to register a new domain, WebStarts will automatically configure that domain name to work in a matter of less than a minute. It's really pretty amazing. For this demo, I'm just going to choose a really wacky and crazy domain name. When your domain name is available, you'll be notified and then prompted to upgrade to one of the paid plans. Please note, to connect the domain name, you must first upgrade to one of our paid plans. After checkout, your domain name will be automatically configured to work with your website and you can begin sharing that domain name all over the web. A fun way to customize your account is to add your very own profile pic. You can do this by clicking the drop down, clicking account settings, click change profile picture, then finding a profile picture from your local computer and choosing to upload it. Once it's added, be sure to click on update and that's applied to your account. In this video, we touched on just a few of the many powerful features of Web Starts. If you ever get stuck, don't hesitate to send an email to support at webstarts.com and we'll be happy to help you. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website, online store, or blog.